What is going on everyone? Badger here. Should have liked and sub and let's get into this. We have reached the part in the timeline where they're done ruining all the modern day depictions of movies, TV shows, comics, and video games. And now they're going to go back and they're going to try to retroactively ruin all of our memories of the best things in Assassin's Creed, which should not be surprising to anyone because anytime we talk about modern Assassin's Creed, basically anything after Black Flag uh, 4, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag, either way, Anything after that uh, is mostly when the ruination has set in the DEI, the fantasy trilogy of Valhalla, Origins, uh, Odyssey. And, of course, since we cite Black Flag and or the Ezio trilogy, those are the ones they're going to go back and ruin. And before we get to that, I just want to do a brief recap of where we are with Assassin's Creed. And that's, of course, the most disliked Assassin's Creed trailer of all time was released for Assassin's Creed Shadows, where we found out instead of a Japanese male protagonist, essentially instead of getting Ghost of Tsushima, which we have to play now if you want a Japanese protagonist in your Japanese Assassin's Creed game, no, instead you're going to get Yasuke, a dubiously accurate historical figure who certainly held a sword, whether he ever actually used it in official combat, well... That's a whole nother thing. So that triggered everyone. And then, of course, that led to a Ubisoft stock plummeting. And then it's been all cope down there, including one of the bosses for Assassin's Creed uh, Shadow saying that he felt emotionally broken uh, by Elon Musk criticizing it, basically saying that DEI kills art. And it does. And of course, the subreddit banning people, not just the Assassin's Creed subreddit, but the PlayStation 5 subreddit. And that leads us to today, where the Ubisoft CEO announces Assassin's Creed remakes. Remakes. Says company will modernize them because of course they will. And yes, they're going to do Ezio. He'll be non-binary and have male interactions. I guarantee you that. He won't just be a ladies man. He'll be a they them man. Uh, so here we go. Let's get into the interview from a Ubisoft website. Uh, Guillemont was asked on the Assassin's Creed front. We've had Mirage, which I finally started playing it. It's boring. First of all, if you've played Valhalla, you know what happens with Basim and his whole secret and all. So there's no real mystery there. Second of all, even though, yes, it's sort of a return to earlier Assassin's Creed with stealth. And you're actually, I mean, it's not the Assassins, it's the hidden ones, but they turn into the Assassins. So it is sort of classic, but the, the just the music isn't there. The gameplay, I just uh, it's just not the same. I was largely bored for the majority of what I've played of it. And I haven't really gone back. So, yeah. They had Mirage, uh, which is a leaner homage to the series roots, and now Shadows, <laughs> which is much larger in scope and more in the vein of Odyssey and Valhalla, which is everyone got tired of, said it's big bloated games, and the only people that really like that are the ones that haven't played the older ones, because even though I can find things to like about Origins and then Odyssey and Valhalla, and I like, and that's the other thing they don't talk about, is the last two canon versions of the protagonist have been female ivor in valhalla and cassandra in odyssey who for story reasons you see in a couple different games and then even in origins with bayek shout out to abubakar uh, salim who voiced bayek and then went on to make his own video game that he had sweet baby ink help him with and that tank tales of kinzaru zao anyway I digress. Uh, the point being is while I can find things like in that newer trilogy, a lot of people had complaints about it and wanted to, to go back to the uh, Black Flag and or Ezio trilogy roots. Um, so looking at the future, can we expect this continued variety? Smaller games alongside bigger ones, he responded. Firstly, players can be excited about some remakes, which will allow us to revisit some of the games we've created in the past and modernize them. There are worlds in some of our older Assassin's Creed games that are still extremely rich. He's right. And if this was not Ubisoft, and I'll show you again why from internal emails that we always like to show, this is not to be taken with the best interpretation. Because when you say for modern times, I think, oh, good. The gameplay, the graphics, the resolution, the music, everything will be remastered. That ain't what they mean. You know damn well they mean identity politics, DEI, uh, sexualities, modern viewpoints, all in the ancient, you know, Italy of the 1400s. Um, yeah. And don't think this is 
it just hit me. I was like, don't think that this is unique to this. A lot of our beloved games in the past and movies and TV shows are going to be remade for that modern audience. Um, original trilogy reshot by Disney coming soon. Uh, he's next. He added, secondly, to answer your question, there will be plenty of experience variety. The goal is to have Assassin's Creed games come out more regularly, but not for it to be the same experience every year. Because, yeah, they were pretty copy paste for a while. Um, Guillemont uh, elaborated, there are a lot of good things to come, including Assassin's Creed uh, Hex, which we've announced, which is going to be a very different game from Assassin's Creed Shadows. We're going to surprise people, I think. And uh, okay, yeah, this is the one that they were announced back in 2022, saying that, uh, let's see, it was this, the brief teaser trailer showed the assassin symbol made out of a bunch of branches hanging in a dark gloom. Yeah, this is the one where it was going to let you jump and forth and play between different versions of assassins. Um, according to a rumor, the game is set during the latter stages of the Holy Roman Empire and revolves around witch trials. All right, so we'll wait for later for, uh, stuff of that. But the, this whole thing comes on the heels of Ubisoft's, again, that diversity, inclusion, and accessibility part on their website where they double down on their... I'm not going to go through it because we've done it before and it's just it's so tiring. But just shout out to the quartering who uh, got those leaked emails where they, again, basically go over to like calm down and appease their woke employees and say, don't worry. DEI and all that's in the D and this is the part representation is part of our DNA and blah, 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 all the things that they used to have, but now they do badly and act like it's a virtue signal when they do it. So yeah, I hope, hope you're ready for it. We are going to get modern remakes of the beloved earlier Assassin's Creed games. And again, with best interpretation, I would love it, but they have given us ample reason not to have best interpretation. Let me know what your interpretation of it is though. Either way, make sure to like, share, and sub. You've done that. Thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And Well, bye. <laughs>